Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the vena cava and then a few other little um, blood vessel features, um, particularly looking at neurovascular bundles, uh, if we get time at the end. Um, so let's start our three minutes. So as I mentioned, this is the section of the vena cava from the human. Uh, it's a really unique blood vessel because its arrangement of its tunics, or certainly the tissues found within the tunica, uh, are very different in the uh, vena cava. So if we sort of zoom in and have a look, here's the wall of the, the vena cava. Again, it's a big blood vessel um, and it's got quite a, a, a roundish shape. If we zoom in, here's the tunica intima. It's not really that much to see, to be honest. There's a simple squamous uh, lining, endothelial lining, and then here's the tunica media. It's sort of this r r randomly dispersed smooth muscle amongst co uh, connective tissue. And then if we go to outside here, this is in the tunica adventitia, we've got these thick bundles of smooth muscle, which is really different. Most of our blood vessels have their smooth muscle within the tunica media, but the um, vena cava has it in the outer tunica adventitia and it's usually longitudinally arranged and the reason for this is of course that the blood pressure within the vena cava is really really low and so in order to help the blood return to the heart we get this peristaltic contraction of this smooth muscle within the tunica adventitia to help return the blood to the heart again we can see sort of the tunica media is largely just connective tissue uh, we've got a few squiggly smooth muscle cells but then most of the smooth muscle exists in the tunica adventitia and as i say it's very unique to the vena cava what I found over here was um, we've got this really nice evidence of a, a neurovascular bundle here. So uh, if you might remember from one, if you watched one of the previous videos where we looked at the uh, muscular arteries, one of the characteristic features of a muscular artery that helps you to identify it is the waviness of the tunica intima. And you can see that waviness here. So this is our internal elastic lamina. We've got our smooth muscle in our tunica media, and then we've got our adventitia. And then adjacent to that, we've got a vein. You can see very thin walled, irregular in shape. Uh, a little bit of smooth muscle in the wall there, but um, very thin wall. And then this little structure here, this is actually a little nerve. Uh, what defines it as a nerve? It was typically got a connective tissue sheath around the outside, usually a perimysium if it's in the tissue, and then this waviness. And that's because nerves have a very indirect pathway to the structures that they're innovating. And so therefore they have this real waviness associated with them. So these nuclei largely belong to uh, Schwann cells, and then a few of these smaller ones would probably be fibrocy uh, fibrocytes or fibroblasts. If you just zoom out a little bit, again, we've got another little um, uh, muscular artery. We've got a, a nerve over here. You can see that waviness we were talking about. Um, and yeah, if we zoom around, you can just see sort of the evidence of these structures repeating again. So this is known as a neurovascular bundle. They form these sort of triad structures, an artery, a vein, and a nerve together. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. There's our three minutes. Um, and um, we'll see you in the next video. So, hooroo!